Oh. Ja. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Russ's Rad Reviews. Today we've got the Rolling Stones Let It Bleed. Originally released in 1969, this is the 2002 reprint on the ABCO, ABCO, A-B-K-C-O record label. And to help me review this album today, we've got the one and only Stony Tony. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's Tony. Stony Tony. He's right. We're going to talk about the cover and the inside sleeve. Tony, go for it. It took me a while to figure like what is even going on because like the front just like the full the cake and like all the record and all that and then the back was like a, like a piece taken out it's like all messed up. So I give this thing like a 8 out of 10 I'd say. When I first saw the album I was really really confused like I, like, I was like what the heck is going on here but that's one of those album covers where it kind of grows on you. The insert is not like there's nothing really special about it. This may not be the actual original insert. Um, but usually the reprints are pretty capable to the original. So yeah, I'd probably agree with Tony on that one. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Alright, so this album, because it's a reprint, I don't know if the original actually came on a clear record, but, I did not know. but this is a, was printed on a clear record. This thing is one of the thickest freaking records I've ever held in my hand. It's thick with like 20 C's. It is, it's crazy thick. Just look at the side there. It's like a pan pizza. I don't know how thick the original one was, but super thick album I think they did a really good job with this reprint in my opinion so far I, I don't really have much to say about the album because what you see is what you get it's clear whoa it's like water ah so with that said I mean do you want to just jump right into songs we can start off with Gimme Shelter I guess it's the first song on side one mm -hmm. I think that's a great song it's like probably one of the first stone songs I listen to like like faithfully like every day almost and that's probably one of the reasons why I bought this album I liked it I thought it was a really good song it had that like rock funk kind of vibe to it. Like Love and Bane, like you, you said you loved that song, and I think it's really good too. Yeah, it's it's to me it's like a, it's the Stones ballad. Exactly. To me, yeah. like I, I think other than the like, like the last song on this album, which we'll get to in a little bit, I thought Love and Bane really showcased the, the musical talents of the band without the the swaying hips and the rock and roll. It was relaxing for me, and I wasn't even on anything, so <laughs> you don't have to. Country Honk is the next song. The Country Honk is just a country version of Honky Tonk Woman, and it's not as good as it obviously. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't a bad song. It just this that was like for me was when the songs kind of started to get strange on the album. All right, so let's go with Live with Me. That was like the only song on the side that I actually was like didn't feel anything for. Yeah, side two is much better. Actually. Yeah, I mean, nothing much to say about Live with Me. It's not bad. It's just. It's it's not as memorable as the other song. Yeah, it's bleh. And then we've got Let It Bleed. Let which, It Bleed. Weird song. Yeah. Lyrically, it's, yeah. Let It Bleed is one of those trippy songs where the lyrics are so strange. Um, yeah, just give it a listen, you'll know what we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about that one either. Midnight Rambler. Really blues heavy, definitely. And there's kind of like a little story behind it, but Mick Jagger's harmonica playing is pretty good. So. I did like that, yeah, the, yeah. I like the harmonica in that. You Got the Silver? You Got the Silver is probably one of my top three on this album. I was actually listening more, you know, I listened to it again, yeah. and it's funny how close Mick Jagger's voice and Keith Richards' voice at this time were. You know, because yeah, they were really close, and it kind of, this song kind of showcased their ability to harmonize, because you'll be kind of on the back of both of them. Right. So it's, it's like they swap roles, which is really nice to see. It's not like Keith Richards never sang on any albums. He actually did like, like have Cole lead, vocal, lead vocals with Mick Jagger. This is just his first, like, this him with a microphone. And then they followed up with Monkey Man. And honestly, it was, it was just, I don't even know. I'm like, Monkey Man's weird. Like, the, some of the lyrics in it too, like, like I mentioned earlier. Like one of them was like, cold Italian pizza. And like, just like the, it's like a talks about the band somehow. Like. I don't know. I think I think this one really showcased the, the emotional side of the band. That's that's my take out of it. Because you go from Monkey Man and you can't always get what you want. And you know, I I have to, that's my favorite song on this album. Yeah, like the choir in the background is amazing. Interesting. You know, it's it's you know they go from the choir to, and then you go to that that acoustic guitar strumming. It's hands down the best song on the album. 
give me shelter and like they start off with a hit, give me shelter and, and then they on. end with a hit. So yeah. that's really good, I think. So for me on this album, there's about three songs that are really, really good. Uh, give me shelter, love and baby. You can't always get, get what you want. And then the, the there's a few in here that are you know I can I can live with. I think they're good. And then there's a few that like if I was like gonna sign these guys for a record deal, I'd consider it like filler a little bit to me. But it's also expressive filler. I mean, so you've got about seven on here that you consider hits. I I've got about I would say hits, but they're like all really good. So three hits, give me shelter, midnight rambler. You can count as I think those are fabulous songs. Mm -hmm. The other three would be like love and pain, and honk. You got the silver. And then, like I said before, this album does grow on you, so you, the more you listen to it, the more you like I, I find the more I like the song. With that said, let's talk about how the album's held up today. There's nine. There's nine? Yeah. No, there isn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. First songs, what, what are you thinking? I, uh, because, like, this is probably not my favorite album by the Stones, even though it's one that I hope has a special place in my heart because I started listening to Stones. I give it an eight and a half for songs. Yeah, I was gonna say about an eight for songs. There's three songs on here that are amazing, amazingly good. Exactly. Give Me Shelter is one of them. You can't always get what you want, and uh, you know, Love in Vain. You can't, you can't, like, you can't argue that those songs aren't good. And then you get a few of the other ones that you mentioned, you know, Monkey Man, and You Got the Silver that kind of elevate that score. So yeah. yeah. So you some some people view, view them as filler. I view them as like they're just having fun. Yeah. With them. Yeah. I mean, it, <clears throat> and they're allowed to do that too because at this point they were already established as a well-known band. So exactly. You know, they're allowed to release now with, with having fun. Honestly, I mean, we kind of already discussed all we need to discuss about this album, in my opinion. I'd probably give it a six out of ten for how it holds up today. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, there's only a couple of songs. Probably. It, 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 it. Final thoughts for the album before we close out. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. I love so, it. With everything that we just went over, and we average out the scores, the album scores a 7.5 out of 10, which is a pretty solid score. Considering. I think it's a little low for a Stones fan here, but yeah, as a general population, we probably agree it's about a 7. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to let Stony Tony sign off this one. Give this album a listen, please. You'll enjoy it. Check it out on Spotify. Hey, we're not sponsored by them, but sponsor us. Spotify's amazing. <laughs> I don't remember. I smell this on you. That's just my feet. <laughs> <laughs> There's a wheelbarrow in the snow outside. <laughs> okay. They make like a Walmart lethal weapon commercial. What's, what's lethal weapon?